Doctors are reporting the smoke is starting to get to people, but not in the ways you might think. As NBC finds Christine Pinawadich found out, it's not just weighing heavily on the valley, it's also weighing heavy on people's spirits. Christine? Joe, that's right. Right now I'm live here in Medford, and as Adam said a little bit earlier, it's unhealthy levels of smoke uh, here in Medford. As I stand here, it's not too bad, doesn't feel too bad anyway, but as I look in the distance, you can barely see the hills. Now today I spoke with doctors and psychologists who say they've seen more people coming in feeling a little bit depressed or anxious because of all this smoke. Paul Worst ventured out of his house to get groceries this Thursday afternoon. Something he'd rather not do with all the smoke in the air. I stay inside as much as possible. But after almost two weeks of unhealthy, hazardous air quality and limited sunshine in southern Oregon. I feel, you know, cooped up, kind of restricted. It's starting to get to him. I feel a little more anxious uh, when I'm outside just because, you know, you can't, I don't feel like breathing deep. And he's not alone. Frankly, we're kind of surprised. We're not seeing as much inhaled problems as we thought. And we're seeing more people coming in as kind of anxious, depressed about this. They're kind of getting tired of it. It's just kind of wearing them down. Meantime, Paul Worst was fortunate enough to get out of the area for a while, but now he's returned and it's back to hunkering down. Now, Dr. Bates says if you're becoming anxious or depressed, you can always go buy yourself a light box. Basically, that's a lamp that emits the same wavelength as the sun. Our NBC 5's very own Dr. Robin Miller, Miller rather, got hers at Costco. Or you could always do what Paul Worst did, which is get out of town if you can. Live in Medford, Christine Pitawanich, NBC 5 News.